The urgent race for Americans to escape the escalating violence in Israel. The U.S. ramping up efforts, chartering flights, and opening up a sea route for those afraid of rocket fire. People from all over the world so desperate trying to get home. ABC's Inez de la Quattara reports from Jerusalem. Tonight, the scramble to bring Americans home by air and now by sea. We definitely feared for our lives, so for our children. We had to hold them quiet so no one comes in. Christine Isakoff from New Jersey was visiting family in Zdarat when Hamas militants attacked, forcing her to hide in a safe room with nine others. She spent 20 hours there alongside her husband and two-year-old son. But just being here to go home, it makes us happy, but it hurts us too because we know we're leaving family behind. And with Hamas firing rockets toward Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion International Airport, beginning tomorrow, the U.S. Embassy will evacuate citizens by boat, taking them from Haifa through the Mediterranean to Cyprus. And you can see here so many countries rushing to get their citizens out. You've got representatives from France, Germany, the Colombian Air Force is back here. The U.S. State Department now chartering four flights a day, which can evacuate up to 800 American citizens daily. Two U.S. officials telling ABC News more than 20,000 Americans have asked the State Department for help. The U.S. Embassy warns the journey to Haifa is conducted at travelers' own risk. The journey to Cyprus could take 10 to 12 hours. Lindsay? Inez, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.